Hey everyone, Ron Gasparetto here. And in this video today, I want to share with you the idea and the topic of what do you do when you're feeling lost? What do you do with those times in your life where you're just, you're just not sure what the next step is and where to go with your life or where your life is going? And you just have this anxiety and this sort of feeling of being down a little bit and you're just not sure where you're, where you're going with your life. And maybe you sort of lost that sense of purpose and meaning for your life. So what do you do in those times when you're just feeling lost? And, and I can relate to this because I've had many points in my life actually where I've had those feelings of just not knowing where I was going. But what I find is often those are times of breakthroughs, breakthroughs as well. So I want to share with you some ideas. I have five ideas on this to sort of help you move through and past this, this, this feeling of being, being and feeling lost in your life. So the first idea is when you're having those feelings, don't beat up on yourself. We recognize that it's okay. Everybody goes through it. It's just part and it's a natural part of life. I, I found in my life when I, when I was going through those periods that it's just sort of a, an awakening for me. It, it's yeah, they can be difficult when you're in them and you, and you really have this like a, this feeling of almost emptiness sometimes and not sure where you're going with your life. But it's working through that that you sort of find some clarity with your life as well. And I often find coming through those periods is when I, I really took some leaps in my life. So. Be okay with it. Don't beat up on yourself with uh, on this on this topic because I know we have this habit of when we're down and when we're feeling low, we're, we criticize ourselves for being in that place. But don't do that. Be okay with it. Just relax into that place for now. Know it's not going to last forever, and just be okay with it. And know, just know it's just a natural part of life, and it could be a part of your life where you're going to get some clarity of where you're going next with your life. The second idea I'd like to share with you is when you're in that state, and I often find this works with so many things, is the first thing you've got to do is just go within. Just get quiet. Get into that meditative state. If you meditate, start doing more meditation. If you haven't started doing meditation, start doing it. Just get quiet. Quiet yourself inside. Get into your heart space. What you got to do is you got to quiet the mind, quiet the thoughts, the negative thoughts that, are, that really have contributed to, for you getting into this lost space in the first place. Because when you can quiet your mind and you can get into the heart space, the answers start to surface because all the answers in your life do reside within. So I, I really encourage you, find that quiet time throughout the day. It's usually probably best at night. Just turn down the lights, get into a quiet, sort of soft meditative state, put on some music if you have to, but just quiet yourself. And just start listening to, to, to the intuitive voice that sort of surfaces from within because it's there. Like I said, it's just been buried from all the, the, the incessant thoughts that go through our head every day and throughout the day. So just get quiet. The natural voice will, will, will surface and, and you'll get some idea what to do next. And, and following from that, the third idea is when you, when you get that the idea of what to do next, take that inspired action. Take some action. And it's usually going to be inspired action if you've got into that, that deep side within yourself and, and you sort of know what to do next. Because it's by taking action you get the energy flowing in, you get the momentum going again. And it, 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 ideally it should be in the direction of, of, of your goals and what you want to do with your life. But even if it's not, just take some action, take some movement, get going. Because then I find just, just by, by moving again, taking some action, getting out there, that you get the mojo going again in your life and you sort of start slipping your way out of that funk and out of that sort of negative place that you've been in when you're feeling lost and down a little bit. So take the action. Don't just sit there. Just don't always get in that meditative state and stay there within and do that every night. You've got to take some action as well. The fourth idea is, okay, now you've gone within, you've taken some action. I always encourage you to get out with some people. Now, don't get out with some people who are going to give you some negative ideas or some negative vibes. Get out with some friends or some family. Do some joyful things. Do some fun things. Have some laughs. Get yourself in that positive state, that positive environment again. Again, I find that so helpful. I know when I was going through my periods, just going out with some friends and having conversation. It didn't have to be about anything in particular. Just some sort of light, fun conversations. Have some laughs. It really gets you, again, going again, gets you more centered, gets you feeling better about yourself. Some ideas start to come into your, into your thought processes of what you can and, and where you want to go next. So I often find that just getting out socially really helps. But make sure it's the right social environment. Don't surround yourself with, yourself with complainers or negative people. Get into that positive environment, whether it's friends, family, co-workers, whatever works for you. Just find that a positive social network to get out with. And the fifth idea, 
I want to share with you is this whole idea of just trust. I know that can be hard sometimes, but you just got to trust in yourself, trust in who you are, trust in your capabilities. You've been through stuff before. You're going to get through this. You're, you're going to, you're going to move past this. There's always light down the road that the whole light at the end of the tunnel, uh, philosophy, but you're going to see the light. It's going to, it's going to happen, but just trust in your capabilities. Like I said, you're strong, you're capable, you're worthy. You can get through this and also trust in the universe. Recognize that the universe is there. It's going to send you signals. It's going to send you signs. It's going to bring to you the cooperative components of you all to help you move forward with your life. So just trust in the whole process. I find that the more you trust, the more the universe shows you reasons to trust. So trust in yourself, trust in the universe, trust in the process, and just move forward from there. So I really hope this served you because again, I've been in that place before where I've, I felt lost and I just don't know what to do with my life. And, it, and again, I know it can be a heavy place to be, but just do those things. I mean, don't beat up on yourself, get quiet, go within, listen for the answers, take some inspired action, get around some positive people, have some laughs, have some fun, and just trust, trust in the process because it'll pass. You're in this sort of funk a little bit, you're a little bit lost, but often there's a reason for it. You just, it's, it's usually a beginning of a, a place of a new beginning for you. So just trust in yourself, trust in the process and everything is going to work itself out. So until, ne until next time, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it served you a little bit until next time. I invite you to go out there every single day of your life and live your best life from your best and true authentic self with a loving heart and an open mind and a joyous spirit.